Tab navigation can be quite tricky, but the AppSmith theme is here to help. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure tab navigation and also how to set up tab navigation across pages. My name is Confident and I'm a developer advocate at AppSmith. Without further delay, let's get started. All right, so we have a simple application on the screen right here. So we have an application with a tab of two tabs and each tab has a text widget denoting the current tab we are on and also a navigate button that actually performs the navigation. So we want this to be configured such that when the navigate button is clicked on, we actually navigate to the second tab. And when we are in the second tab, we can also click on the navigate button to go back to the first tab. So in order to set this up, we need to actually manipulate some properties in the tab widget itself. And the first property we would be manipulating is the default tab property. So right here, you can see that the default tab is set to tab one, which is the first tab we have here. We can actually update this to something like tab two, and you can see that tab two is active. So what we need to do here is to find a way to dynamically change what the default tab property is. And to do this, we can actually use uh, the AppSmith store for it. So this is going to be appsmith.store.tab, all right? And this value is going to be read from the tab key in the AppSmith store. So we can actually go into navigate button and configure it to update the tab key in the store. So let's go to the onclick event. When this is clicked on, we want to store a value to the store. And for the key, this is going to be tab. And for the value, this is going to be tab two. All right, this looks good. And we can head back to tab two and going to configure the navigate button similarly. So when this is clicked on, what we want to do is to also store a value to the store. For the key, this is going to be tab. And for the value, this is also going to be tab, tab one. All right, this looks good. So we can go into test this out. I'm just going to click on the navigate button and you can see that we have been taken to tab one. And similarly, I'm just going to click on uh, the navigate button from tab one. And here we are in tab two. And we can actually make this look a lot much cleaner by disabling the tab headers we have right there. So we can perform the navigation using the buttons. And this looks really clean because to the user, the user actually thinks that this is a single page application. So this, this looks really cool. All right, the second thing I'm also going to show you is how to perform tab navigation across pages. And to do that, I'm just going to quickly create a second page. So let's go into page one and I'm going to clone this page and edit the name of the new page to page two. All right, so right here we have page two and I'm just going to update the text here to say page two. All right, this looks good. Heading back to page one, what I can do is bring in a button widget that would allow us to perform the navigation. So for this button, I'm just going to call it navigate to page and tab. All right, so we have the label of the button set up. And when this button is actually clicked on, what we want to do is to navigate to page two and also pass along the information of the tab we want showing up. We can actually use query parameters to pass that data to the next page. So let's go into the onclick event. When this is clicked on, we want to perform a navigation. The name of the page is page two. And for the data we want to pass along, this is going to be an object that have a key of tab and the value of the tab we want opened up. So let's say tab two, for example. All right, this looks good. So I'm just going to click on the navigate button and taking a look at the URL right here, you can see that the tab information we want opened up has been appended to the URL. So we can actually go into make use of this. So we can read that value from appsmith.url.queryparams.tab. And you can see that we have tab two opened up. So I'm just going to head back to tab one on page two and then let's go back to page one to test the entire flow out. So we can perform in page navigation and to navigate to a different page and a new tab, I'm just going to click on this button and you can see that we have tab two opened up. So this is how easy it is for you to set up 
tab navigation and also to configure tab navigation across pages. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comment section and I'll be sure to take those questions. Alright, thank you. So I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.